middle of nowhere. Hi, I'm Dirt Ross. Uh, my name is Di. And I'm Kim. We've worked together for 29 years. No, I've been married 29 years, but we've worked together uh, since 1979 as a shared authorship. And that's okay. That oh, that's good information. Have to have some space to cut. <laughs> um, we chose to deal with what's our home base, which is our cats. We live isolated in the country. This is kind of meeting place with our life with our cats. So this is a little bit autobiographical in that sense. But it also has a lot to do with um, animal relationships with humans and non-hierarchical relationships. Because as um, as I, which is identified, uh, we we have a different. I think we have a different relationship with animals. Um, how the art affects people? Yes, we do a lot of studies. We, I, we test it out on people. And for example, this stuff we had to test it out on our cats first over six months to see whether they enjoyed it too much. Made you want to make art for a certain person or a reason or visual artists, etc. Et yeah, to researchers. I mean, we teach in a research-based university in rural Ontario. And it's actually rather, you know, rather exciting and stimulating from an art perspective. What's your fantasy car? Actually, you know, we really like pickup trucks. I mean, oh, it'd be a spaceship or something. Oh, a broom, a broom, yeah, a good broom. Good beer, good lager would be nice. We don't, we don't tend to eat a lot. We're vegetarians. Um, we're professors of art at uh, the University of Guelph. What kind of what? Music to my fur, to my Electronic. Yes, we have our eye touch hooked up right now. We listen to a lot of like um, electro bangers would be one category, which is like kind of hard dance electro, and then we listen to glitch hop, hip hop, new, new instruments. Depends on what kind of work we're doing. If we're using power tools, we like to play Black Sabbath. I know. We do remixes ourselves because we a part of our research lab at the university is a digital media lab. This particular project, so our political message is really, whereas for example the politics of witches are that animals agency as humans, in other words you can, we don't see a legal distinction between their right to live or you know, live the way they want to live. In other words it has to be, we consider that has to be a negotiation.